welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick, short, basically testing tip when dealing with some bus issues. This is a 2008 Chevy HHR and the customer's complaint is various lights come on the dash. Uh, the first day I got it, I didn't know what I was looking for. Got in it, started driving and a bunch of lights came on the dash. Brought it back to the shop scanned it and it was uh, bus communication faults that were logged on the uh, in a couple other modules now sometimes this will act normal and okay maybe for a few seconds a few minutes but then it'll go and drop out and all the lights come on and, and again most of the time it is in its faulted state uh, as far as what the codes are Basically, there are communication codes for the ABS and transmission. Those two modules are the ones that basically seem to not be talking. Uh, it looks like it had been looked at somewhere beforehand, but I really don't know much of it. It was just dropped off and not given too many details. So what I ended up doing was just decided to, after scanned it, and again, just trouble codes, not going to try to bore you too much it's a little bit straightforward but I um, wanted to show you some of those testing tips and what to look for so after I scanned it uh, I hooked up a breakout box put the scope on pin 6 and 14 this is old enough to where you are tapping in directly to the high-speed bus from the DLC so you want to watch the bus activity there so let's go, I'll show you what I ended up testing and what I'm looking for and kind of go from there. So this is the waveform with the ABS plugged in. Down there. And one thing that I keep noticing when that's plugged in, if you look here at this section, um, Let's go, actually, let's go here first, so. Not too crazy um, compared to that section. So look at here. This is what I've been noticing. See these, like, stair step? That should not be there. That's what I've been noticing uh, is being captured on the bus when the ABS does not talk. So currently, we go through the uh, ABS because I'll show you the order. And we, and we reach the transmission and the engine control, which those two are after the ABS. Everything up to that point communicates because it's before ABS and ABS doesn't communicate, but we're able to go through it and get to these last two modules. But I notice that the capture uh, sometimes comes up like that. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we captured any of those points again. Let's see. Yeah, right there, look. So. It, it's like good, 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 and then stair-stepped. We should not do that. Um, and here's another point. Again, should not do that. Now, I'm going to run the same thing with the ABS unplugged but jumper to still be able to reach these two modules. Now, if you see the gauges see the rpm gauge now the fuel gauge the temp rpm will randomly drop out there you go so <laughs> now i notice that that occurs when we also lose the transmission so uh before we almost di directly right off the bat See that guy? Um, lose the ABS, and then we still talk to transmission going through ABS bus. And I notice at times 
we also cannot talk to the transmission and when we can't talk to transmission these start acting up so I think these are a result of losing transmission communication and off camera I did a complete scan and again currently we do have that let's call it corrupted picture and I'll show you here so we'll auto scan we'll talk to computer engine computer we won't talk to that we won't talk to that and everything else we will talk to so on and so forth um, so what I am noticing is that when the ABS is plugged in and again I'll, I'll get you a shot so when the ABS is plugged in we've got two lines that go in and two lines that go out so communication goes in through it and back out and then goes to tranny and um, transmission and then the uh, engine control unit surprisingly even though the ABS basically kind of dies uh, it's still able to let the bus go through it and and we can reach the other modules now the one thing that again continues to happen when we go through ABS we randomly drop out the transmission computer uh, because then we are unable to talk to those two modules and those two modules only which is kind of weird because we can still talk to uh, engine computer which oddly didn't log anything let's see if we truly are talking because most of the time it'll have communication codes Uh, I think we are maybe not talking. Let's see. Okay, never mind. We there are some codes there. I don't know why I didn't list them off on the uh, auto. So there we've got. Okay, so there we've got different modules that it's again not seeing. Um, let's see. Is we should have listed it with codes. Okay, there we go so again uh, it's weird that we can go through ABS somehow drop out transmission but still get good uh, engine computer so I want to try to bypass ABS see if we still drop out the computer okay so this is my plan uh, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it looks like this has been at the dealer or somewhere and this was already uh, in this condition so um, just a little uh, tidbit or whatever so my plan is to basically bypass the ABS control unit and I have to tie in if you notice there's uh, these two and then those two so it's bus in bus out uh, so I'm just tying them together as if they're going through but just to show you what happens let's undo so we're we're splitting the bus we're stopping it at the ABS it's not going to go further to the engine or transmission and I will show you what that does we'll go ahead we'll try to crank it and nothing no crank so that's how I know we're not getting to the engine computer and transmission but if we connect them now let me make sure I'm connecting the right ones um, let's see so black wire with black wire okay yeah so these two here 
these two here so okay so now we're we're looping the bus let's see what we do let's start capturing here we'll back out because we'll get ready to do a full scan and we should be able to start and run okay so we've successfully looped we know 100% we're not gonna have the ABS and I'm hoping to not lose the transmission as well which means these won't drop out let's do a full scan and let's pause that to look for the corruption actually we'll run it as we're scanning so we'll talk to that we're gonna talk to that we'll lose that and then we'll talk to everything else from here on out like always let's pause this see if we get any of those uh, let's call it stair steps now if you notice I zoomed in where it might look like might be an issue so let's take a look and no no corruption it's just those ending points at the packet um, so no stair step they'll, they'll always come back down so let's look for some other points let's uh, go through our captures let's pick these guys here and again, no uh, corruption, no stair steps. This is again the high point for the ending portion of the packet. And so what it looks like is when the ABS is removed completely and bypass we're not getting any corruption on the bus and I am hoping that without the corruption that we don't take out the transmission computers basically what I'm uh, trying to avoid to do it looks like in the beginning you have two dead modules you can shotgun them so on and so forth but I don't want to have to do transmission if transmission is being taken out by the ABS, uh, ABS is corruption on the bus. So I want to keep monitoring. And let's see, let's get this running. Let's zoom out. So we'll keep monitoring, see if we find any more corruptions, which it looks like we won't. And then again, we're just going to let it idle get hot and see if we ever do drop out because I, I I think that was the telltale sign of when we lose the uh, transmission computer um, these would wig out so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit but I, again I want to try to be as accurate as I can I believe the ABS module is what's causing everything and um, kind of just go from there Okay, so there you go. I think I've pretty much narrowed down and proved out the point that when the ABS is plugged in, it ends up corrupting the rest of the bus, or the bus, and then we en end up losing the transmission computer. Um, the next thing to do is check power ground, load them, so on and so forth, and which I already did off camera. They are verified. Uh, I did use test light with a T-pin. I did check with the meter just to see where they were at as far as voltage um, I know the true true way is loading so um, I did check all of that and at this point what's left is to basically call a faulty corrupted ABS control unit go ahead and replace it get it set up and everything and that should be it but the main thing of this video was to do and the testing of the bus and watch it on the scope now again you have to have a good setting with the speed and 
uh, voltage and all that to be able to get that stair step portion where it is basically corrupted and you just do your before when you're connected testing and then unplug it to verify watch for that corruption to go away and stay away and that's 100 verifiable proof that a singular module causes that corruption which then causes other issues so again it's more of a testing tip type of deal for watching bus on the scope what to look for so on and so forth so this will get wrapped up not too interesting or crazy but i just wanted to bring this to you guys and i hope some of you got something out of it thank you for watching and that's it for this one